Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chris from Chris and Ed Go Fishing. Um, this is the month of December's mystery tackle box, pro box for bass. Uh, as I said in my previous one, Ed and I normally don't fish for bass, but we do sometimes. And they don't have the catfishing box for my area, which is the, the Washington DC area. I really hope so. We have really huge catfish out here. And I'd like to see MTV kind of step their game up and and put a local box out here or a catfish box. Uh, but until then, I'm gonna get some bass stuff. So let's get on into it and uh, open it up. I haven't seen, obviously it's still taped, so I haven't seen what's inside of it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, I said in my previous video, I love this box. I love that you can just kind of bring it with you and uh, you have your ruler and all that stuff. So I love it, I love their design. All right, must add hooks, spring lock jig heads. Okay, that's cool. Um, I actually like how they have the eyes in them now. Those are actually pretty decent quality uh, eyes on those jig heads. And then um, I actually don't have any spring lock jig heads, so that's awesome. I will be adding that to my collection. Sweet. All right. Ooh. Makura shad tails. Those are pretty cool. Oh man, let's see if I can open these up. Oh yeah, look at the colors on those. Wow. And they got that, that kind of like swim baitish tail on them. Those are going to be sweet. I cannot wait to try these out. I have not tried, look at like Lakers colors. I've actually not tried out a purple and yellow um, color combination like this. But it should be good for the four mile run area out here in, in uh, Northern Virginia, DC. And as you can see, they got kind of a cool little angry eye there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. Nice. All right. I see you, I see you uh, MTB, with the uh, Makora Shad Tail from Japan. I didn't think this was a Japan box, but whatever. All right, maybe they had some left over. The Senko Tremor Pack. Uh, shad. Okay, so it's another kind of like weird. Look at the uh, weird. Okay, so I'm guessing you just hook it like you would normally, and then this becomes kind of like a bill for like a crankbait. That's interesting. So does it deep dive? Huh. Okay, so I don't know about this tremor head, but I'm gonna look it up and uh, maybe I'll do a video with it. But I've never, I've never tried this this kind of a, like a jig head before, and that's kind of cool. So I, I can't tell you about that. I don't know about it. All right. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, the Death Stalker is a multi-species killer, perfect for targeting fish in cooler water or when bait fish are dying off. So it's kind of like, um, uh, like a blade bait. You just let it sink down to the bottom and then uh, and rip it off because once the water starts getting colder, uh, shad or little shiners or whatever they they you know they'll die off and they'll kind of slowly hit the bottom and then maybe get some life again and, and come back up and then hit the bottom again and you're kind of like imitating that. So I don't have one of these in my current bass tackle box. I'm super excited about this though. This is awesome. Thanks MTV. Okay, uh, Yum Cross. These, you can't have ever get enough of these. Uh, I don't have this color. I don't really fish with, with this color craw. I normally use the green pumpkin, but I'm willing to try it. Uh, you can never have enough of these, so good job, MTB. Thanks for restocking my tackle box. Oh, okay. This is cool. It's kind of like a um, a uh, jerk bait, but it's got the little hinge on it in the middle there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's see what it says about it. It's called the Secret Weapon from Strike Pro Lures. Um, let's see. No, it doesn't have too much about this specific one, but it says it suspends at uh, 1.7 feet. So, okay, I see you. All right, so I kind of use this like a jerk bait. So I'm I'm excited to try this. This is kind of cool. I don't have 
And you can change the tail on it. Wow, that's kind of nice. Okay, so a little suspending kind of like jerk bait thing. Okay, I'll try that. That's cool. All right, here we go. Okay, here's a nice little crankbait. That's nice. All right. Baby bite doctor. DR. Okay, that's cool. Um, candy bar for perch and bass. And, uh, okay, so it's... So it's a deep runner, that's what the DR stands for, and I called it a doctor. That's cool, I like calling it. This is the new Baby Bite Doctor though, I'm gonna rename it for you, Weston. Uh, nice colors on it, um, fat freaking bill on that too. Okay, I see you. Let's see what depth it dives to, one to two meters, or two, oh, this one goes two to four meters. Okay, two to four meters, that's pretty deep. So that's like, six and a half to uh, like 12 feet. So that's that's pretty deep. So don't fish this. If you get it in your box, if you're fishing like a shallow pond, make sure uh, the, it goes to at least 13, 14 feet because otherwise this is gonna just smack the bottom and it's just gonna drag along the bottom. All right. And then we got the stickers and I don't really, is that, tell me that's a sticker, not one of those little tattoo things. Um, and then, obviously, the little guide that they always give you, and probably just some uh, secret sauce. Uh, garlic, oh, okay, I'm gonna put that on my catfishing bait. All right, y'all, well, um, that's a great box this month. I'm super excited about it, and I will be posting some bass videos shortly. I might go bass fishing tomorrow down a full mile run, but it depends on whether or not I can get my dog's tired, as you can see, I have a Malinois and he's sleeping now because I got him tired. But he is not like this in the morning, he's normally really crazy. Leo, Leo, <laughs> yeah, so uh, if you guys have Mal's or know anything about them, they are completely psychotic and they have a lot of energy. All right guys, uh, I hope to make a, uh, a bass video soon, I promise I will, and uh, until then, take care.